everybody, it's Linda and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, thank you so much for joining us today. In today's video, I am going to be talking about my Owls Readathon experience, which is as of filming today, it is April 27th. So there are still three days left in the Owls Readathon at this moment, but I have finished all of the books that I had planned to read for the Readathon. And because of that, I figured I would do a little bit of a recap and tell you guys about about how that went for me. For those that don't know, the Owls Readathon is a reading event hosted by Book Roast here on YouTube and it happens during the month of April. It is themed around the Owls examinations that the students take at Hogwarts in the Harry Potter series. And it's just an awesome reading event that brings together the book community. They host events throughout the Readathon that people can participate in on Twitter and on Instagram. And it's just, it's a great time. It's something to look forward to every year. Um, and especially right now with the way the the world is it was a perfect little escape from everything and really got me motivated to read more which was awesome during the entire month of April uh, so far I have read seven books but I should be finishing an eighth one before the month ends but for the owls readathon I ended up reading six books if you guys watched my owls TBR video I um, had only planned to read five books, but I finished those by mid-April, which was super quick for me. But I figured that it would be worthwhile to pick up another book that I had been wanting to read anyway. I made it work for one of the prompts in the Owl's Readathon. So because I had finished all the prompts for my particular career path that I had chosen, I figured I would do something that would pair up with one of the seminar options that she had also had in the readathon. I wanted to do something history of magic related. So the seminar that had that as an option was um, the Legal Defense of Fantastic Beasts seminar. And for that, you needed owls in Care of Magical Creatures and History of Magic. And I had already done Care of Magical Creatures for my career path. So the only extra one I needed to do was History of Magic. And the prompt for that one was Witch Hunts, a book featuring witches and wizards. And I had anyways wanted to reread Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. So that is what I ended up reading. Quite the beefy book as well. This is the longest one I read this month. Um, it has 766 pages, but I love this book. Honestly, one of my favorites in the Harry Potter series. And um, this was my first reread of the series because contrary to a lot of other people who grew up with Harry Potter, I did not. So the first time I read Harry Potter was only like three or four years ago. Right after I had finished reading the Harry Potter series for the first time, I started rereading it slowly, kind of like in between other books that I would pick up one of the Harry Potter books. So I was up to Order of the Phoenix and I had meant to start reading this one a while ago already, but this was the perfect opportunity to start rereading it. What I have been doing in my rereads of the Harry Potter series is that I've annotated them as I go along just making you can see one right there just making little notes about different things as I think of them just in the margins here and I feel like when I annotate or make notes or things like that I remember the story a lot more and because of how much detail is in the Harry Potter books that are interconnected with the entire series uh, I've been taking my time and reading the rereads a little bit slower just so I can get more of the information and remember them a little bit better. My goodness, someone's got the zoomies. Who's got the zoomies? Who's coming in here? My dog just flew in here. Um, but anyways, so had a great time rereading um, Order of the Phoenix. Always great to hate Umbridge because she is the character everyone in the Harry Potter community can mutually agree on that is the worst character in the entire series. Everyone loves to hate her. So always a great time. <laughs> the other books that I read was Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Absolutely love this book. Super, super cute. Really nice kind of quick read. I actually read this one in like two days. So um, really, really enjoyed it. Absolutely adorable read. And then I also read Wonderland by various authors. This is an anthology, which basically means it's a collection of so uh, short stories and all centered around Wonderland. There are 19 stories in total. And I put little stars in the index by the titles 
of the short stories that I like really loved and there were six of them out of the 19 that I absolutely loved but every single one was very unique and I enjoyed every single one of them in like a different way but there were six in total that I absolutely loved. Oh, I was gonna mention the the ratings I gave these books as well. Reread for this one five stars again as it was the first time I read it. Fangirl I gave four stars. Wonderland I gave four stars as well simply because not every single story inside of it was up to par for me but a good portion of them I really did enjoy still and of course I'm biased of anything having to do with Wonderland because I am a huge Alice Wonderland fan so yeah four stars for that one and oh my gosh let me tell you about one of my new favorite like top reads not absolute favorite but one of my recent like oh, this book okay I read Spin the Dawn for Care of Magical Creatures for the Owls Readathon because it has a hawk on the cover and oh my goodness I had no idea what to expect with this book no idea but I fell in love with this world with the characters it was just oh I just I love this book and one of my friends on bookstagram started reading it as well um and she also loves it and we've just been chatting about it and it's been a great time um honestly what did it the most for me is just the author's mastery of words and the way she describes the world and like the character development and just like mainly the description of everything that's going on it's like so full of Chinese culture and just oh I just I love this book it's so so good highly recommend you guys read this if you're into YA fantasy but it is just oh I I just I love it I absolutely love it definitely my favorite read in the Owls Readathon and I obviously gave this one five stars so the other ones I read was Mortal Engines by Philip Reeve this one unfortunately got three stars and for me three stars is a very low rating. You guys can check out my Goodreads if you want to see how I rate books but it's just oh this this book I really wanted to love it I really did but it just fell really flat for me like and that's the thing the the writing style was very flat in my opinion. Um, the characters I felt no connection with. I feel like the world building was decent and, and, and I really loved the premise of the story. Like the basic premise is where these, there's these giant cities on wheels and they're going around the world, like eating up smaller cities and like, ever, like there's nothing left of the world other than these giant cities. And basically one of these cities is trying to get now into in another part of the world that hasn't really been destroyed and ravaged yet and they want to take that land and uh and then it's like the battle between that city and the people that are trying to pre protect that part of the world but anyways it's like it's a very cool premise you definitely get some steampunk vibes from that book which i absolutely love i love the idea and the 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 crafting behind steampunk stories but this one just, I felt nothing for the characters. Um, it's just the descriptions were very bland. It just didn't go into enough detail for me. I loved the premise and like the idea of it. So that's why I gave it three stars instead of two. But overall, it was just a little bit of a disappointment. And then the last book I read for the Owls Readathon was The Little Prince. And it's such a cute story, very different from the type of books or stories that I normally read. But I'm glad I read it because I know how loved this story is. I gave that book four stars just because because it was very well written, very cute idea. It just wasn't my particular style, but overall it was a really cute story, very good book, and yeah, I enjoyed it. So overall, for my first time joining in the Owls Readathon, it went very well. I was very happy with how motivated I was to read, but that also in part had to do with the fact that I'm home all the time right now and I have plenty of time to read, so it was a nice excuse to just sit down and read for a couple of hours every day. And, uh, and yeah, so this has been a very good reading month for me. I had originally just planned to read 12 books this year. First of all, because we didn't know that a pandemic was going to happen. But then second of all, I, I made my goal so low because I wanted to really focus on my writing. And I have been, but then with being home now as well, I also have a lot of extra time on top of that because I don't want to be writing all day and burn myself out. So I, it's been nice to be able to sit down and read 
and especially read some different books that I probably wouldn't have picked up if it hadn't been for the readathon. So I'm very happy about that. Overall, I'd say my experience was awesome and I would definitely recommend you guys check it out. She also has a second part of the readathon that happens later on in the year dedicated to the newts, which is the higher level examinations that the students at Hogwarts take in their seventh year, the owls they take in their fifth year. That readathon is a little bit more challenging because of the fact that the newts are a high, higher level, but it's really cool the way she set it up that whatever career path you chose for the owls, you can continue in the newts if you decide to do so. So it's really, really cool. Well, um, definitely check her out. I will leave links and everything in the description below. But yeah, that's everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified of any new videos when I post them. But until next time, never stop dreaming or shooting for the stars and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.